Voters said yes to three ballot initiatives here in Massachusetts, but they may not mean that they have the last word, especially when it comes to two of them. Okay, so remember, question one gives the state auditor the ability to audit the legislature. That passed overwhelmingly with more than 71% of the vote. And nearly 60% of voters approved question two, which means that public high school students no longer need to pass the MCAS exam in order to graduate. But state lawmakers could tinker with these new laws or still scrap them all together. WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us how. Legislative leaders are still looking for a way out. And State Auditor Diana DiZoglio, the force behind question one, is urging voters to back up their votes with even more pressure on state leaders. We are reaching out to uh, folks across the board in Massachusetts and asking you to please call your legislator and please call the governor. The prerogative of the legislature is to make and adjust laws. But Evan Horowitz of the Tufts Center for State Policy Analysis notes that while the auditor can look at the way the legislature handles its own funds, her authority to make good on her vow to probe internal procedures like committee assignments and voice voting stands on shaky legal ground. The legislature, short of, short of changing the law, can also just defund the auditor's office or uh, have a section that says we're funding the auditor's office, but none of these dollars can be used to audit the legislature. It may be better to think of this as like Roadrunner and Coyote, with the auditor playing the role of Coyote and the legislature playing the role of Roadrunner. They have lots of ways to get away. <laughs> Question two means teachers can address each individual student's needs. And despite this teacher union spin about question two replacing MCAS with local control over graduation standards, on Beacon Hill, they're already discussing new statewide standards that might require completion of prescribed courses rather than passage of a single test. It felt like a referendum on the MCAS, but that's not what it was. It was a referendum on whether the state should play any role in deciding whether there are statewide standards and who can graduate from high school. And I think there's some wiggle room there. All right, so we know we can always count on John Keller to give it to us straight. So, John, many voters seem to think ballot questions like this are a form of direct democracy where they can just bypass the legislature, but it seems that's not quite true. Yeah, Courtney, we looked it up. Most state legislatures across the country can and sometimes do tinker with ballot questions after they become law. And there are cases like the taxpayer funding of elections law that passed here in 1998 where the legislature starved it for funds for five years and ultimately repealed it altogether. So what can voters do? They can take revenge at legislators who go along with that or tinker with the, their vote uh, at the polls when they come for re-election, but they rarely do. Incumbency in this state is like a sinecure for life. Mm, we'll see what happens this go-round. Mm -hmm. John Keller, thank you.